Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Thank you so much for watching today. Today we're going to look at algebraic equations using balancing scales for one variable, two variables, and three variables. So stay tuned, check out one of the, um, watch these videos, let me know what you think. Check out one of the MTEL Math workshops that's coming up. Whether you're taking the general curriculum, the 47, the 53, the 09, it really doesn't matter. Because remember, for these exams, it's all coming down to one or two, maybe three points. That's how close some teachers are getting up from the difference from passing to not passing. So I want you to get those extra points. So check out the videos. If you need extra help, come to a workshop. Get the extra help you need on, those, on these math and tells, okay? Thanks, everyone. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hi, team. Now I want to look at some harder balancing scales. Now, the first video we looked at, we just looked at one variable. Now we're going to get into two variable equations. And they're going to get a little more challenging. But right now, I'm, you know, we're just going to start. I have four diamonds equals 52. This seems to like a pretty straightforward one variable equation. Let's see. This would, I could express this as 4D equals 52. That's the first step. Turn it into equation. Divide by 4 divide by 4, I come up with each one of these is equal to 13. Each diamond is equal to, has a value of 13. Well, what do I do with that equation? Well, I take this information, d equals 13, and what we're going to do, that's a 13, by the way. What I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it into my next equation. Every time I see a d, I'm going to write 13. Now, the, it starts to get a little bit more tricky. 13, 13, 13. Okay, so really what I have is 39 plus 2 blocks equals 40. Well, what do I do? Write the equation out. So I think here I'm going to write it to the side. 30, I might do actually uh, 2b, that's my two blocks, plus 39 is equal to 40. What are my steps? Well, I'm going to subtract 39 from both sides. Ah, oh, my pen. i got to get a new pen. 2b is equal to uh, 1. Now, you may be like, okay, so are you saying, Chris, I divide by 2 and I'm going to get that, you know, 1 block is equal to a half? That's correct. It may not feel right, it may look like it should be more, but that's what this equation is saying. One block is equal to a half. How many circles equal a square? When a student is beginning to work with scales and balancing equations, one of the first things they do is, you know, yes, you want them to write the equation, but in the beginning, they're not doing that. They're simply asked the question, how many blocks equal circles. So one way to solve that is to sort of experiment. For example, if you take a block off here and take a block off here, the balance, the scale remains balanced. Well, if you take six circles away from here and six circles away from here, it stays balanced. What are you left with? Well, you're left with, um, right now, you're, you're left with, oops, you're left with 4C equaling 2, 2B. This is key. What I've just done and what that student has done is they've, you know, used a little bit of, you know, a strategy, take, and they're actually doing, you know, algebra, but they don't even know it at this time. And at, this, and at the same time, they get to that algebraic expression, 4C equals 2B. Now, again, you can divide by 2, divide by 2, and what do you get? you get 2c is equal to b. We could have done it a whole other way. So I think it's worth, you know, going, uh, let's, let's, let's actually do it another way, a little bit more algebraically. Shrink this down a little bit. Enlarge this. Wipe it away. Make some more, make some more room again. Adjust it. Okay, here we go. A little bit more algebraic we, would be something like this. B plus 
10 C equals 3 B plus 6 oops, 6 C and now I gotta make sure I go through all my steps so I want to solve for B I gotta subtract the 6 C from this side subtract the 6 C from this side I got a minus a B from here minus a B from here what do I get? Well I get, again I get 4C equals um, equals 2B and again we have our equation and then I divide by 2 and I'm going to come up with 2C is equal to 1B okay now let's let's do a, one more a harder problem now a slightly harder level 2 problem and then we'll go and then we'll go to level 3 sound fair okay and by the way all these problems are on the go math website or you could uh, attend one of the mtel math workshops and get some more clarification on these problems but definitely you know you should you should make a <coughs> point to go through the problems on the practice problems on the website and, uh, and you know for a lot of teachers it helps to go to a workshop just to get clarification on ideas and concepts but now let's look at this one first thing I do oh this is a three variable we're gonna have to save this one for um, level three because what we have here what makes this different than the last one is we have three variables we have a triangle a square and a circle so you know what let's just write the equation what would this look like algebraically to start with, we have three, two. We have actually two equations that we're going to use to help solve each other. The first equation would be t plus, you know, two c is equal. I'm sorry, that's two b. Two b is equal to three c. And then we have this other one, t <coughs> plus c is equal to 6b. If you totally follow me up to this point writing those equations, I want you to go on to level 3. If not, I want you to go back and make sure you can do all those, um, be able to solve all those basic equations that we've done so far, being able to write the equations so you can get up to this point and you're right with me when we begin um, the, our third video. Thanks for watching everyone. Again, this is Chris Abraham from GoMath. Keep on watching. Hope you enjoy these. Let me know if you enjoy them and check out an MTEL Math Workshop. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.